Hello everybody, Leo here with another video, a do-it-yourself video. I'm going to show you in this video how to create a delay with a with a siren, with an alarm system. And uh, why would you do that? Very easy. When you go home, first thing you do is open the door. The first thing that will happen if you've got a PIR or a door contact is it will immediately trigger the alarm and it will go off so basically you open the door you don't have any time to do anything else and it will go on and it's very annoying especially if you're in a condo and you don't want the siren to go off when you're going home so basically what i did is place a 12 volt delay module inside this 12 volt siren and i'll give you before i open up i'll give you a quick demonstration again here we go with the 12 volts it's already triggered so i've already got 12 volts directly and as you can see it went off so let me open it up and show you how it works i already unscrewed the screws so i just open it up like that so you can basically see what i did i'll just take it out and there you go let's take a closer look at it so there you are. Here we've got the board of the siren. The siren is inside the outer box. And here we have this module, very small. And it's also got a, a trigger here, a trimmer, sorry. So that basically you can, it's got a range from one second to 30 seconds. This is the 12 volt input. Then we've got a clean, normally open and normally closed contact. So basically I got the 12 volts positive from here and I put it into the contact here. At the end of the video, I'll show you with a little schematic how I did it. So let's give you another demonstration I'll put the 12 volts in and as you can see the red LED has gone off and now it will wait the amount of time that we've given it and as you can see the blue LED is also on and the siren so basically you can just shove it up or down whatever time you need 10 seconds five seconds and uh, the good thing about this is that when it goes to off in other words when you take the mains off it will reset to its original condition so that's a nice thing you could use it for any other application so that's what I needed. I didn't want something with a memory on it. So basically that's it. Just give it its 12 volts, whatever you're sending it from. There you go. It's starting to count. When the red light goes on, it's counting. And there you go. Siren is on. Switch the alarm off. And it's back to basics very simple let me show you how i placed it in the casing very careful because the wires are very very delicate so there you go that's how i inserted it as you can see very easy just make sure the wires don't go on here and 
let's turn this round as it should go. Oops, sorry, wrong way round. There you go. Before I put the screws back, let's try it again and see what happens. The, the red light has gone on, so there you go. You can also see the, the blue LED here. I'll shut the light off so we can both Let's, okay, let's have another look and see what happens. There you got your red uh, LED. It's going to go off. There you go. 